Hello, good morning. This is Father Rai Park in Bangkok. Uh, I'm just showing you a little bit of skyline of Bangkok. Uh, the city life, the urban life. So, Pope is writing about urban life and city life. And he talks about enormous amount of uh, water waste and uh, garbage waste and um, pollution, especially noise pollution, and electronic waste, carbon emissions, traffic, and uh, the traffic jam, the horns, which constantly sound, sound, noise pollution, and uh, there is the loss of quality of life. There is no quality of life in, in cities, big cities like here. So even in Chennai and Bangalore and Delhi and Mumbai and India it's very bad. And even in small towns you can't live peacefully. So Pope is writing in Laudato Si, uh, his encyclical on ecology and environment. And uh, he's talking about all these issues. And uh, he expresses concern for the quality of life uh, for human communities, for society. I mean, he value peace and happiness and joy and calmness. Every person has a, a right to live in. Uh, in silence, not to be harmed by noise pollution. And there are religious purposes. We generate so much of noise. And we should keep all this faith inside our heart or inside our own religious institutions. It is none of your business to trumpet your own personal faith to other people. So, Cities needs peace. That is basically Pope is writing in the paragraph number 153. 153 in Integral Ecology, the fourth chapter, in the sub heading called Ecology of Daily Life. So I'm going to read article number 153, paragraph number 153. Uh, and Pope writes as follows, the quality life in cities has much to do with systems of transport which are often a source of much suffering for those who use them. Many cars used by one or more people circulate in cities causing traffic congestion raising the level of pollution and consuming enormous quantities of non-renewable energy. This makes it necessary to build more roads and parking areas which spoil the urban landscape. Many specialists agree on the need to give priority to public transportation, yet some measures needed will not prove easily acceptable to society unless substantial improvements are made in the systems themselves, which in many cities force people to put up with undignified conditions due to crowding, inconvenience, infrequent service and lack of safety. Wow, this is beautiful and we have to put up with all that. Even though we are human beings, we are unable to stop these disasters. It is our choice anyway. We can make a difference in this kind of uh, uh, conditions in urban life. This is possible. Change is possible. Pope is not uh, asking you to do something impossible man, you become a woman, woman, you become a man. He's not asking that. 
and you go to moon and stars, he is not asking that. He is not telling you can fly, you fly on your own. No, he is not asking that. And he is not even uh, uh, concerned about other impossible things what humans can do, but this is possible things what humans can do. So, stopping noise, we can do that, noise pollution, no. Blowing horns in the cars, yeah, we can do it. And uh, stopping the use of non-renewable energy, yes, we can do it. So again, Pope is not asking you to move mountains, ship landscapes, no, just all the possible things which humans can do. He is just writing it. Limit the use of water in the city and stop generating waste. Build a waste treatment plant in the cities and water recycling plant. You use the same water, you clean it up and use again and again and again. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So this is what Pope is talking about in the city life. And especially allow the people to live in silence. Don't intrude them uh, with your noise pollution. And uh, instead of traveling one person in one car, why don't you carpool? That's what Pope is writing. You see in these big cities, you see all the cars, one person traveling. And the traffic jam. Pope is telling, build new roads, new parking lots. Spread out the people, those who are inhabiting in the tight spaces. Chennai, 20 million people. Can you imagine? That is the whole population uh, of uh, the entire continent of Australia, 20 million. So spread these people out and stop using your own cars and go in the public transportation. Yeah. So we, we need to develop our public transport system, good buses, good roads, good movement of traffic, no traffic jams, or bring out the metro, the train system. We can do all that. So every year the growth of cars, the growth of economy, and there are new vehicles on the road, and um, the available road systems can never handle the volume of traffic that is coming out every day. So we need to develop. Development means it should be integral, not only buying cars, but you should have also roads, you should have parking lot, and you should have efficient cars. There are so many cars today, we are able to buy them. They are energy efficient cars. These energy efficient cars can save enormous amount of fuel. One car is called hybrid. Hybrid. Toyota makes it beautiful. Hybrid means it can give you 48 to 50 kilometers per gallon for four liters. Yeah. So one liter it goes on fuel and another liter it goes on battery which was charged by the previous one liter. So it alternates. So you get 50 kilometers per liter. Per liter, per gallon you get 200, sorry, 200 kilometers. So per liter you get 50 kilometers, hybrid. Another one is uh, hydrogen fuel cell car. It runs on water, it's available. And another car is battery power, it's available. Why all this United Nations organizations and the local politicians, why don't they look into that and then promote this kind of energy efficient cars and they should subsidize for the poor and then bring out this kind of cars on the roads and they are less polluting. So that is what Pope is writing. So he is concerned about big cities, the city life, the urban life, and also the people, those who live in the, those contexts, 
and they need a quality of life. They need peace. They need tranquility. They need a home, not a city. So basically cities are not the place where the homes come in, but where probably the factories, artificiality comes in. But we should read again Pope's encyclical paragraph number 153 if you have a hard copy please and if you have a soft copy download the computer please read paragraph number 153 and you decide for yourself and thank you and God bless.